I found the girls upstairs playing with a box of matches. I took the matches and I hid them. I know I did, but I must have missed one. We all went down for naps and I actually fell asleep, which is weird because I usually don't sleep during the day. I woke up to my oldest daughter, Suzanne, screaming and crying. When I opened my eyes, I saw that her blonde hair had turned black. What happened? I asked, suddenly alert. My bed is on fire, she screamed. I leaped out of the bed and I ran for the phone. George, this is your sister, Sarah. Get over here right away. My, my house is on fire and I think Maggie and Betty are trapped upstairs. I hung up the phone and I ran for the stairs. On my way up, the stairs collapsed, breaking my arm. I tried to get up out of there and up to my babies, but I couldn't with one good arm. Then George appeared and he pulled me up and he dashed up the stairs after the girls, but, but he didn't get much further than I did before the stairs gave on him as well. I can hear my baby screaming and crying. It broke my heart. But now I realize that was music to my ears compared to what I heard next. Silence. When they saw crying, I knew the fire hat got them. I was Aesthetically depressed as I just started screaming like I was crazy. I started screaming their names, anything to let me know that they were still alive, but I never heard them cry again. Now do you think I'm crazy? What is what is crazy? Define crazy. Is is crazy losing your children in a fire that you, you could have prevented just by checking the or by explaining how dangerous it is to play with fire. No, no, I'm not crazy. But do you know what is? They found the bodies of my babies behind the furnace. The furnace! I didn't even think a rat could fit behind the furnace, but they were there. Holding each other, protecting each other from the flames. No, no, I'm not crazy.